Hi, my name's Jennifer James and I'm here today to talk to you about preventing falls. We know that falls actually cause a lot of hospital admissions and we're looking at ways of preventing that from happening. So has anybody here actually had a fall and would you be willing to share your story? There are many different factors which we can address to prevent falls. Today we are focusing on medicines. Just want to play a little game with you. Um, would you like to try and guess how many lollies or medicines are in this jar? Okay, anyone have any suggestions about how many we've got in here? Well, I'll tell you, there's 1,095 and that represents one medicine three times a day for a year. So, how do you keep track of your medicines and how do you know which ones might be lead you to having a fall and what can you do about it? Does anybody here have a medicines list? And do you know exactly what your medicines are for? So how do you keep track of your medicines and do you know what they're for? Let's look at compiling or completing a medicines list. So you can use a form such as the one that I just showed you. There are lots of different ways of doing this. You might like to write them down yourself. You can even put them into your mobile phone in the notes area. There's also an application that you can download onto your phone that will help you to keep track of your medicines. If you're unsure about what they are or what they're for, you can always go to your pharmacist and they can do an up-to-date list for you and help you to put it into a form that you can carry with you easily. I'll come around to you now and help you to fill out your lists. If you've got any questions, please let me know. How did you go? Did you remember all the medicines that you were on? Do you know what they're all for? Do you not know why you're on a particular medication? All those questions can be answered by your pharmacist and I would encourage you if there are any medicines that you're not sure about to go and have a chat with them. Did you remember to include all the non-prescription medicines that you might be taking? And that will include those that you might have purchased at the supermarket, herbal medicines, vitamin supplements, and anything else that you might be taking perhaps from your naturopath or other health practitioners. Okay, so when you complete your action plan today, if there's anything that you need to know about your medicines that you don't know right now, put that in your action plan as a reminder to find out about those medicines.